<laughs> Hi, we're here with Rage. They're fucking good. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the <So>, intro. <laughs> next, next topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so obviously you're in support of Seasons of the Black, which has been out for about a year now, give or take. Uh, how's the response to Seasons of the Black been? Wow. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, actually, it's um, it's the second album of this um, lineup. Yeah. And by the way, we call this lineup not the new lineup, but the last lineup. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it's the last lineup. Yeah, it's the, it's the second <laughs> album we did. Uh, it's in the same kind of style um, that we've chosen for um, for age, like going back into this nineties era, yeah. and and focus more on the original DNA, let's call it, um, of this band. And yeah, the feedback was good in the Devil Strikes again <clears throat> anyways, but in Seasons of the Black is even more. And you can see that everywhere, and like, you know, say the numbers go up, people are really writing us that we are on the right track and all that. When we play live, people really enjoy that. So it seems that we're doing something right. And the, the, especially this tour has, has proven that, um, that something is going well again, thankfully and gratefully, um, being like double the size than last year. <coughs> I think the, 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 not only the, the, the true, the older fans of the band have understood that we're back on the, <coughs> on, on the track that you, that you said, the fo focus on the original style of the band. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, uh, younger fans, newer fans <coughs> are getting this that we are more into what the band should be. You know? Actually, <coughs> like, like, like Marcus, I think, described, he said, um, he said that this is actually the old style of of rage with like some modern salt and pepper to it. Yeah. So it is like sort of a bit timeless, a bit modern, a bit history, a bit a mix of that that uh, hopefully attracts younger people as well. Yeah. Right. Well it does seem since the this lineup's come together in 2015, yeah. it's just been yes, full is. throttle if you like. Because yeah. I'd, Rage were a band I'd always heard of and I'd hear the name pop up now and again for the last few years it's Rage, 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 Rage and it's fucking cool to see the band going at such a speed and such a full throttle as I say. It's great. That's good. And it's a bit fun for us. It's not for us, it's for us. Especially with that catering. Yes. <laughs> it feels like, for me, I've done it this since 35 years nearly now, to me it feels like being back home again. Finally, <coughs> it's really what I always thought, thought it, would, it would be on, it should be. So with that being said, do you see this lineup of Rage as the definitive line? I mean, you mentioned earlier it's the last in line. I mean, I had, a, I had fantastic musicians in the band in the years before. I always thought, oh, you kind of top this or so, but um, the reality just proved me wrong. And, and so you just see that this. Way other things more important than, than just playing abilities or so, you know. So this, especially this, um, this personal personality abilities that you guys have. I mean, my, my friends from since, since long before we started the band together. You know. So this kind of friendship um, element is bringing out um, bringing out things in us that um, you couldn't have with people that you don't really know or that you. There's like this kind of closeness. Yeah. Well, I know you've been a fan of Rage. Both of us have been fans yeah. forever. Yeah, I didn't want to ignore you, I just didn't know you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not only fans, I don't, not that anybody gets this wrong, they're not only fans from there, they're my personal friends as long, you know. Yeah. Marcus, we, we, we know each other now 10 years, pretty much. And we're lucky, I know, since 1988, when he first popped up in our life, you know. And, uh, <laughs> I was two years old. <laughs> 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 what? Who was I? Here? Forty year, forty. Year, forty. Year, forty year old teenager becoming a, 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 a drum student of our drummer back then. Because you know, because he was also Greek and he was like, ah, I want you to teach me the drums. <laughs> okay, boy. <laughs> and then our, he, he became his uh, drum technician. I mean, he was getting a bit older. He was touring with us and everything. So. Closer relationship than so long. Nowadays, he's. <coughs> he's uh, I, mean, I might be together with Marcus, a creative motor, but he's uh, the. What do you say? This uh, the rock foundation. 
Well, the, 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 the driving factor behind the band and everything. The engine. You know, the engine. Yeah. Kind of a, and then engine. You know. yeah, but it, yeah. In the end, it only works with the, with the three engines we are. Yeah. You know, yeah. <coughs> all this organizing stuff, you know. This, you gotta know that it's also the management of the thing, you know. So it's very, on a completely different level than it ever was before. You know. <coughs> so, what was the question? Oh, I forgot that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because we're going. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We, we have this tendency. Right, right. Yeah. Um, now, a big part of promoting the more recent material, especially since this one, has been music videos. You've done probably about three or four now. Four, since, yeah, four music videos, video, and, few and, lyrics videos. And they're quite sort of high concept. And some of them kind of have like a black magic feel, for lack of a better term. Um, do you enjoy making those kinds of videos, or is it a bit of a pain in the ass? Yeah, we definitely do. I mean, um, it's always a topic when, when we write music, um, which one's going to be the single. But mostly of the time, um, we know what is going to be the opener of the album. Okay. So we always just like, oh my god, this is, this, is, this is the opener of the album. When we're writing music together, it's like, what do you think? It smells like an opener? Yeah, it smells like an opener. This is the one. <laughs> and normally, we, in the last two albums, yeah. The opener track is the videos. Mm. Is the, the singles that we, the opening track is the single, and it, 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 it seems pretty, works pretty well. Mm. Actually, and the, the opening track is the second video. It is, ah, that's true. It's the <laughs> second video. It's the second video. The first, and the first one is, is like the, the, a single somewhere in, in between. Yeah. Like in Karma and I, this case. I can say that the, the first is always the song that Lucky comes first time with. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they come they come and present me the material, I mean, they write songs in warp time. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how much material those do collect. And then they play me something and it's like, wow, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool, this is the one. Yeah. But not with the, with like, with the, 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 the idea of we have to, do, do something this thing. now, no, so, no, no. and then it's so it just, it just happens naturally. Is there ever a case where you've, you've written a song and you go, "This is the opener," and then Bob goes, "No, no, that's the opener, and I'm the manager, so that's the." No, <laughs> no not really. No. No. Not really. No, because there's a conflict in me. Yeah. Half is the musician. <laughs> <laughs> so I would have to fight myself. That doesn't work. No. <laughs> Usually, you always sort of those uh, that are too fast for the opener. I don't know that I have to play it in the first song every night. Jesus, not again. I didn't say it quite well. Just joking, just joking. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, this year marks, I believe, the 25th anniversary of Missing Link, which is a really important album. It is. This year is it? Yeah. Am I tonight free? I told you last year. <laughs> Yeah, it's alright to remember that. It's confusing that for us. Like the anniversary is every year for something. Yeah. So. <laughs> every year is an anniversary in Rage for something. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, like Bob said, there, you've been around for this. Lucky, like, lucky, lucky. Oh, lucky. oh sorry. Lucky. Yeah. So is it twenty? That's another group. Yeah, the manager is called Lucky Bob. Yeah. And me is Lucky, and my partner is called the Best Bob. That's oh, I see. Oh. So it's the twenty-fifth anniversary of Missing Link. Yep. So we should listen. I played on a song. Now, Farwood is doing sound check with Carlos Whisper. Are you hear this? Is it, is it on the camera here? Carlos Whisper? Yeah, it should be able to hear it Usually, they're playing my song when I'm saying that. Yeah, I love that. Usually, well, Lucky would pop up on stage and sing it in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greek, yeah. <laughs> Greek dance. Okay. Greek dance. Getting serious. Again. So, 25th anniversary. So, 25th anniversary of Missing Ring. So, I was, I was just purely wondering if there's any plans to celebrate core of the century of Missing Link. I mean, a lot of bands now are doing albums. And like a full album, yeah. yeah, yeah. We did that uh, with Black in Mind when it was the 25th, was the 25th anniversary or the 20th? 20th. 20th anniversary of Black in Mind. We played pretty much the full album. We couldn't play the whole album because the album itself is way too long yeah. to bring it live. But we play like, let's say, the 98% of the album live. And it, it works pretty well. But if so, then we have to do this every year. So we are now very focused on the new material. Mm -hmm. And promoting the new album, yep. even though we have really cool and unexpected songs on the set list, mm -hmm. something from a uh, missing liquid. Do we have something on mixing yeah. later on the yeah, set sure. list? Yeah. yeah, but don't say which one. No. And uh, and yes, I mean we. There's always something from this album on the set. Oh, list. it is. <laughs> Either it's trapped or missing link. There's something there. Yeah. Well, I think last year was the 25th anniversary of trapped. So yes. yeah. yeah, like you say, though every year. Every year is an anniversary, race anniversary, something. 
And this year is going to be the 20th anniversary of 13. It's time for stars. <laughs> yeah, it's getting but, confusing, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's too, too much album in this band. So. Yeah, well, there's so, so many albums that have been around. I think the first one was 1984. Correct. Um, how would you attribute the, lo the longevity of Rage as the founder? And as fans, how do you, why do you see Rage as lasting so long? Why? 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 Why do you think it lasted that long? Uh, basically because they, they were stuck on me and said they were stuck. <laughs> 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 uh, well, you could say so. Uh, <laughs> and um, I don't know, that music is my life. It's the only thing that I one of the very rare things I can actually do. That's kind of good in, I think. <clears throat> Especially as a songwriter, as you must have brought up a songwriter, but what might be an okay performer. I leave this. <laughs> I leave this to other people. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see myself as a pretty uh, good songwriter, you know, to write a theory that is you know, on one way catchy, on the other hand, not the lyrics as well. Lyrics as well, yeah. <clears throat> and on the other hand, not too, too obvious, you know, and try to use <clears throat> harmonic structures that are <clears throat> not, not, made, not, not made too often, you know. That's, uh, if I if I may add something to that one, uh, like from an analytical measure point of view, like this product if you so wish, yeah. um, why last it that long? I think that there are two, three major factors here that make a difference to maybe some others who would not be around anymore. Number one, there is a certain songwriting DNA what you just described, some progressions that are used still with those two guys, but especially in particular him before, really before, that were unusual for that sort of sound. Basically he writes his songs on an acoustic guitar, there's very beatle kind of things happening. Yeah, and those... a, the reason is I have, I have a classical education on yeah. classical guitar, very much influenced by like, basically Spanish uh, classical guitar players and uh, composers. Uh, I guess it's Really and then, and then you, you put this into a metal and metal environment, environment, you know, and, and it, it started to be a, a bit different to some others, maybe from the, those days, without without being disrespectful or so. And uh, that's that's one of the, of the points. The other point that I always saw with this band, I mean, being part of it, obviously as a as a teenager, was that this band was, you know, he understood innovation. They were innovative. Yeah. Innovative. What is the right word? Innovative. innovative. It was innovative. They did <clears throat> like things that others wouldn't have done so far. I mean the orchestra thing yeah. with uh, Lingua Motors was far before Metallica did it. Yeah. Um, in metal it was the first band. There was of course Deep Purple, but it's mm -hmm. a different style. Yeah. Who did it in the, what is it, 70s? 1969. Oh, yeah, so, but then uh, nobody else did it. Today you see that in every corner. Yeah. Uh, and it was a, a blast when, when Lingo Mortis first came and then later 13, it was something that was completely and unexpected. And it was very much influential to other bands. And just to not disrespect all the other lineups as well, I mean, they they did then next steps, if you like it or not, it's a different story, but when, when Mike came in, Tirana and, and Victor, they did. Uh, there was a different movement again, and they, they always had, they always had good sound mm -hmm. sounds, and they had a certain DNA. But they changed a bit here, a bit there, and were always like like bringing something new to the table. And I think this is something that attracts people. Um, mm -hmm. To if if on the one hand I can still recognize this is my band, but on the other, I mean the band I like, yeah. and on the other hand it's like wow, they're adding something on top, and then again they do something on top, and then again. So because if you do twenty four albums, how do you want to go? Like, I put, I have to be better or different or add something to the previous one. You do it once, twice. I mean, most of the bands they have then eight, ten, twelve albums with twenty-four is the same. <coughs> and of course, not everybody shares this opinion that every album was good or I don't know what. But what everybody can recognize is that this band was always developing something. Yeah, that's the important. output was very, very high over the years. You wouldn't do 24 albums if not this. There were always new ideas coming into the game and things, and you had a Pibi Wagner who always put his signature be below that, in at least 99% of the cases. So, 
uh, I think it's a key factor for that for that band that that it lasted that long. You couldn't say it better, brother. Thank you. Man. <laughs> that was a nice way of saying I don't want to add <clears throat> to the interview. No, it's not. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Actually, what he said is shut the fuck up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. No one. No. <laughs> well, and that's well, why uh, you're the perfect guys for the band. <laughs> <laughs> you you were born with this DNA. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Well, on that note, it's probably time I shut the fuck up and let them go to dinner. <laughs> so, thank you very much for Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you much. Thank you very 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 much. Thank you Happy to say we're here. I'll try again. Happy to say we're here with every member of the race. Let's start again. We're under the table. Bloopers! I mean, <laughs> <laughs>